Hello friends, I'm here today to show you a trick on how you can force the column widths in Power BI. See you soon. So, so many times when you're working with Power BI, your reports look great, the numbers add up, but then if you look at the column width, some of your values are just wider than others. And this can be because either your values are too big or maybe your column headers have a different size in each of the columns. And either way, the automatic way Power BI handles this is by resizing your values. Let me show you the trouble here. So here we're working in, an, in a matrix. Also imagine that we're adding some fields here. So for example, we could have our sales amount, but let's add it in the graph here. So we could have our sales amount. And then we wanna see this by year. We wanna have a month name and we wanna have the year in the top here as well. Okay, so far so good. So if the year and the month are both in the rows, then we're gonna be fine with this width and the, and the numbers. But let's say that we wanna see the countries in the column. So now we're looking at countries of different length. So if we look at the Netherlands, it's a very wide word, whereas Spain is much smaller. That's the first part that influences the width of your column. The second part that influences the width of your column is the actual size of a number. So if Spain, for example, in this cell here, instead of 600, had 600,000, then also that would cause the value to be wider. Now the default setting for Power BI, if you go to settings, you can go to column headers. The default setting is to auto size the column width, which means that it will look for each of the cells, what the widest value is and adjust the column so it fits that value, which is great in most cases because if your column would be too small and your value doesn't fit in there, you wouldn't be able to read it. So this is a great behavior, but it's not great if you want to have a certain amount of columns always fixed. For example, if you have months in the width, or in this case, if we have the countries in the width, it's much more aesthetically pleasing if all of the width of these columns would be the same. So we could say that the widest value is Luxembourg, then we would all want all the others to be Luxembourg as well. I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned from someone else. I don't remember who, so I won't be able to give the credits, but it's just a trick that I wanna teach you. So if you wanna fix this, then the first thing you'll do is just remove the total amount and we're gonna make a new measure, new measure. And in that measure, you can write, let's call it a width measure. And we're gonna use the rept function. The rept function is going to repeat a value that I give in the first argument. So you can do anything. You could add a zero, you could add some text. But what I like to do is add some of the, the, the tiniest no, uh, text. So I'm gonna open my quotations. And then I'm going to add a pipe symbol right next to the enter. And then I'm going to have some more quotations to show that this is a text value. Then you go to the second argument and here you can indicate how many times you want this value to be repeated. So if I could, for example, say, I want to repeat this 10 times, close my brackets. The next step, what you would do is you would input this measure into your matrix and you're going to find that each of these values is not entered. I still have the feeling that some of the, the column headers like Luxembourg are wider than the values we have. So you can just adjust the repeated amount of uh, values here until it's got the desired width. So in this case, I think we can easily go to 18. And now we have a little bit of space left on the right. So if you want to, you could even put it to 23. That's much more like it. Now. This is useful if you know what the fixed amount of column widths are. So this will be helpful if you, for example, show 12 months, that will never change and your filters is on the year, or if you know that your region just exists of these countries. The next step that you'll have to do to keep these widths fixed is you have to go to the settings here, click on column header, and now just make sure that the auto size column width is turned off. Because if you don't turn it off, it's not gonna work out. Let me show you. So let's say this is still on here and you would remove this measure and we would add back the total amount. You're gonna see that it goes back to the value that we had. So if you remove it, you put it back in here and this time we're gonna turn off the auto size column width. So it's in the, the styles, column headers and auto size column width. 
Now we can try to see if we can replace the measure. So if we take this out and get back to total amount. Then all of a sudden you can nicely see that there's even spacing between the values. And for the viewer, this is just much, much more aesthetically pleasing, which forces the width. Now, I hope you liked this little trick. If it added any value, just like the video below. And to not miss anything, just subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time.